With that swing Saturday morning, the USS Bravely entered the service of the U.S. Navy. You use two hands and you go right where they said to, to hit it. Alma Bernice Bravely acted as sponsor for the christening. Her husband, Vice Admiral Samuel Lee Gravely, broke through every color barrier as he rose in the ranks of the U.S. Navy. He eventually earned the rank of Vice Admiral and commanded the U.S. Third Fleet. Alma Gravely says a ship named in his honor is the greatest honor. She's beautiful. She's just beautiful. My husband would love her. When the USS Gravely takes to sea, she'll be under the command of Douglas Kunzman. For him, the christening ceremony was more than just routine. I, I think I had goosebumps the whole time, not only because of the, uh, the magnificent ship that's being built that I get to sail on with my crew, but to represent such a great American hero and a great American family. Kunzman says the name of the ship will set the tone of the ship. My biggest challenge is to take those principles and his legacy and put it on board that ship so that it lives in every sailor on board that ship, not only while they're on that ship, but for the rest of their lives. The Gravely is an Aegis guided missile destroyer and perhaps the most advanced ship now in the water. Building it took four years and four million man hours, providing steady work to thousands at north of Grumman and Pascagoula. Now it will help the U.S. Navy dominate the seas for 30 years. It's got high technology uh, weapon systems, combat systems, radars, uh, anti submarine warfare systems, missile technology. <laughs> And it's got the name one of the most respected men to serve in the U.S. Navy. In Pascagoula, Matt Barentine, Fox 10 News.